So you've heard of CryptoPunks and the Board Ape Yacht Club, but what else out there is really cool, but also a little bit more affordable? Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Space Case Co. My name is Elle, I'm your host on this channel, and today we're talking about NFTs, but we're specifically talking about PFP projects or profile pic project NFTs. Whether you're new to the NFT space or you've been in it a while, there's two PFP projects that I'm sure you've heard of, the CryptoPunks and the Board Ape Yacht Club. Now, while I believe these are two incredible projects that are probably going to stand the test of time, both of them at this point are pretty much unaffordable for most people. So the point of this episode is to talk about my personal top five PFP projects that don't include the CryptoPunks or the Board Ape Yacht Club that I think will do really well in the long term. I think they're doing well in the short term. And they might give some of you who are looking to buy into a PFP project a little bit more of a broad scope. Now, I do wanna say that the market is flooded with PFP NFTs right now. There's far too many, the supply does not meet the demand. And in all honesty, most of these projects are not gonna make it. A lot of people out there think the PFP projects are already dead. I disagree with that. I think that they are alive and well, and I think they're going to continue to be for some time, especially as we welcome more and more newcomers into the NFT space that are searching for that perfect avatar that can represent them in an online world. So currently though, supply far outweighs demand and we need to really narrow down what some of the better projects are, which ones are going to survive, which ones might be the next Board Ape Yacht Club or CryptoPunks. So if we can weed out the projects that are just not going to make it long term, then we can flip the supply and demand problem and hopefully at some point be in a position where demand is far outseeding supply and then we're all winning. So let's take a look at my top five picks of PFP projects that I think are gonna make it. Okay, and here we are with my top five favorite PFPs in the space right now. Um, before I click reveal on that next page, I do wanna point out that I put these in order um, of most expensive to least expensive. So if we reveal number one, the Cool Cats, they are currently the most expensive of all five of these NFT projects. Um, at the time of filming this, their floor price was approximately one Ethereum, um, and that's roughly, I don't know, I think it was at like $3,200 uh, earlier today, approximately. So these are still on the expensive end, and um, as we go from here, just know that they get a little bit less expensive um, as we go down the line. And this is in no way in any order of which project I like better. Um, it was just in order of most expensive to least expensive. So with that said, number one, Cool Cats. They, their art is cute as They have a merch store that's gonna be amazing and breeding. So what I wanna say about the artist um, behind Cool Cats is that he started drawing Blue Cat over 10 years ago. That's an entire decade of love and history regarding the star of Cool Cats. And if you want proof of that, you should join their Discord and check out the origins section. As far as the merch store goes, I mean, look at these cute little cat faces. This is the quintessential cute profile picture. So if you're looking for that, this is this is the perfect project for that. I can't imagine how cute these little cats are gonna be on t-shirts and hats and backpacks and who knows, even plushies or something like that. So I think the merch store for this project is gonna be amazing. And last but not least, breeding. At some point, the team is gonna introduce that um, into the space and you're gonna be able to make your own cute little baby kitties. I'm assuming you'll have to own at least two cats to do that, but I, <laughs> I guess I'm not totally sure. Um, however, with that said, this blue cat is uh, special and only for the first generation. So I would take that to mean that the baby cats are not going to be blue. Um, but there you go, that is project number one, the cool cats. Diving into number two is Subdux. Now this has the dopest art by a legendary artist, Frankie Nines. If you do not know who he is, you have to check him out. Um, I mean, just you look at those eye popping ducks right there. Like not only are the figures just so solid and so cool looking, but even the backgrounds I think are the most impressive in the space. Um, it's 
you've got to check out the rest of the ducks. I unfortunately only own these two, but they're they're so funny and have such great personality. And he, Frankie Nines really brought them to life. Um, the second thing that I think is going to be so amazing about this project is the duck app. It is in beta testing right now, and the app is going to allow you guys to wear your sup ducks attributes as stickers and emojis in your photos. That's really cool. This is gonna be one of the first NFT projects to also have an app that goes with it. And then last but not least, there is potential for an animated series. Uh, the team says it has friends in high places and they're working towards uh, shooting a pilot episode and pitching it to a network. That would be seriously awesome. Um, what a standout project, you guys. Moving on to number three, the Lonely Alien Space Club. I put the Beyond Stellar community as number one because there is so much engagement between holders and developers. I mean, their Discord and Twitter are amazing and absolutely worth diving into. Um, the night that I discovered the Lonely Alien Space Club, I bought five aliens and I was engaging on Twitter. And I think by the end of that night, I had like a hundred new Twitter friends. And I mean, this, this community was so welcoming. It was honestly mind blowing. And uh, you guys can see that little uh, space DJ helmet, uh, alien dude in the middle, um, totally fell in love with him. And he has actually now the NFT that is going to become the face of Space Case Co. He's gonna be our mascot and uh, he goes perfectly with our name and everything that we're kind of going for. And so um, it was so great just to be able to find this team and be welcomed in the way that um, we were. Uh, the second thing that's incredible about this is their road map. You guys have got to check out the website, see the road map that they're building. Um, I mean, there's so much lore and colony building and the project is so well thought out. And I think it really means it aims to be around for a long period of time. Um, so number three is not just unique to this particular project, but it's ownership. And this is maybe the single most important thing to me personally that a PFP project can offer. And that's personal and commercial rights for your aliens. So you see that beer hat alien? I mean, go brew a cold one of your own and use them as your logo. As long as you maintain ownership of the NFT, you're free to do this. Um, Board Ape Yacht Club's you know, kind of started that maybe, I don't know if there was any projects that did it before them, but full commercial rights, that is astronomical, I think, for somebody that's trying to collect something. Um, and uh, Lonely Alien Space Club falls into that category. Making our way to number four is the Sewer Rat Social Club. Um, they honestly have top notch and incredibly detailed artwork. Um, there's there's quite a few uh, rat PFPs out there right now and the Sewer Rat Social Club by far has the best art in any of them. Um, so if, if you're looking for art, again, such a solid, solid project for that. Um, the other thing that I wanna talk about is utility. This team, offers you so many avenues to be able to use your rats to do various things. It's unheard of. They have the best utility of any project that I know of. Um, they, the team just, they never sleep. Like they're constantly giving back to their holders, man. They even created their own usable currency known as the cheese token. You can actually buy other NFTs with, you can enter raffles to win NFTs. You can actually use Uniswap to convert your cheese tokens into Ethereum. I mean, it's just crazy. You can also go on their Discord, send your little rats to work and earn free cheese tokens. Like who does not want free money? That's absolutely crazy to me. Um, the other great thing about this is the community. Um, they're for sure one of the most fun discords out there. Um, like I said, you can send your little rats to work. They have so many different channels and different avenues. They're constantly doing really fun giveaways and really fun competitions. They're so engaging. And um, hopefully this episode will uh, air before this weekend. They're doing an, an awesome companion uh, Cheddar's drop that we're all gonna get um, for anybody who owns a rat. So that's gonna be really cool. And uh, full disclosure, by the way, I, I do own um, 
you know, NFTs and all of the, the projects that we're talking about here today, I, I feel like it would be weird if I didn't, you know, it's kind of like put your money where your mouth is. I support these projects. And so I, I do, uh, I do invest in them and I do have NFTs in them. So, um, moving on to number five, last but not least the blazed cats. Now this one is a little bit different than some, so than the ones that we've already kind of talked about. Um, the charity aspect of this is really amazing. So what started out as a clapback basically to a celebrity cash grab project has actually become totally incredible in its own right. The team completed this project in 24 hours and instead of hoarding all the money to themselves, decided to give it back to charity, specifically Mental Health America. So every time you buy or sell a Blazed Cat Now on the secondary market, because they are sold out, 100% of royalties gets donated. Um, as of today and filming this, they have donated over $230,000 to help uh, people struggling with mental illness. That is absolutely incredible. Um, another reason this project stands out is because it's a living avatar project, meaning the team will be constantly updating images of the cats with enhancements and customizations. Um, some of these cats, as you can see, I was lucky to get a little nine jointer there, but some of them had nothing in their little hands. And uh, when the team did a refresh on the metadata, some of those empty handers, you know, all of a sudden had a brownie in their hand or a couple of wine glasses. I mean, it's hilarious. They're really creative. And uh, so if you own one of these cats or plan on getting one, be sure to hit that uh, refresh metadata um, button from time to time, because you never know uh, <laughs> what your cat might uh, be changing into. Um, and then another, another really important aspect of this one is the community as well. It, it has a different vibe from um, some of the other projects we've talked about just because it is such a happy, positive space. People are giving back. People that are buying these are invested in giving back. And there's a lot of money uh, flowing around right now in the NFT space. We're talking billions of dollars this year alone. Um, and so to be part of a project that gives back is, um, is pretty great. And so, that brings us to the end, the last point I need to make, which is, but do your own research. Seriously, do it. I cannot stress enough how important it is for you guys to do your own research. Everything that I just shared with you is my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment and education. But at the end of the day, there's still a chance that these projects could fail. I don't think so, but that's why it's so important for you to do your own research, to look into the communities, to look into the developers. Do you like the art? Because ultimately, if you like what you're buying into, then even if the project fails, hopefully you'll still be happy with it. Hopefully you'll still have an NFT that you love and it doesn't matter that it didn't take off and it doesn't matter that it's not the next CryptoPunks or Board Ape Yacht Club. It's still something that you can love. Um, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you got value or learned anything new out of this video, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button for us. It's really helpful. And I can't wait to keep going on this NFT adventure with you guys. See you next time.